Hey guys, it's Miki Asamar here, and I'm going to be reading a Kenma Kuzume X listener. This one is a soulmate to you. I don't know what kind of soulmate to you this is, but it is some sort of soulmate to you. This one is titled Games, and I was requested multiple times to do more Kenma, and to be honest, I don't mind because I love Kenma, so without further ado, let's get right on into the video. The ding of your phone dragged your attention from your game that you were playing. Pausing your game, you checked the notification. A grin spreading across your face as you read the game you had been impatiently waiting for was finally in stock at the game store. You hit resume and finish the level in record time. Once you had finished the level, you stood up and stretched, hearing the pop in your, in your back. You grabbed your wallet and keys and glanced at the red numbers on your wrist. Zero years, zero months, zero weeks, zero days, zero hours, 32 minutes, 37 seconds, 36 seconds, 35 seconds. Excitement and nervousness ran through you. In half an hour, you would meet your soulmate. You'd glance at your reflection, grabbing a brush and dragging it through your hair to make you look more presentable. You sprayed some nice smelling deodorant on, not wanting to smell disgusting. You didn't change your top though, not wanting to change for your soulmate. You would put your shoes on and walked out the door, suppressing the urge to look at the clock on your wrist again. The walk to the game stock was uneventful. You'd pass many couples on you pass many couples, the numbers on the wrist a color green. My number is going to be green soon too, he thought with glee. Entering the, uh, entering the shop, you sighed in relief. You were in your favorite place. You had made your way quickly to the selection where the new game was, hoping it wasn't sold out. You had arrived at the area, not even looking through the anime section. Luckily, you were still, or luckily there were still a few copies left. You grabbed the closest one and took a few seconds to take a box, scanning the cover image. Reading the words on the back, you smiled in excitement. Whirling around you, you had walked towards the checkout, once again looking at the numbers on looking at the numbers counting steadily down. Zero years, zero months, zero weeks, zero days, zero hours, three minutes, fifty four seconds, fifty three seconds, fifty two seconds. You would stop walking, puzzling, or puzzled at the numbers. Surely twenty nine minutes hadn't passed. Shrugging it off, you continued to the checkout, joining the back of the queue. Your palms began to sweat as your eyes darted around, wondering if anyone here was your soulmate. The line went down until you were at the front of the line. You glanced down at the clock again. Zero years, zero months, zero days, zero weeks, zero hours, zero minutes, 20 seconds, 19 seconds, 18 seconds. Closing your eyes, you had taken several deep breaths, trying to calm down your rapid heart. You were about to finally meet your soulmate. The feeling was too much. You paused and tried to calm down, not wanting the feeling to overwhelm you. Are you going to go? An impatient person said from behind you. When you didn't reply, they barged past you, taking the free till. It was the, if it was any other day, you would have glared and yelled at them. Instead, you just watched them. You waited a few more moments before the cashier was free, heart beating in uh, particip uh, in trepidation. You took a deep breath and walked to the till. Your timid eyes finally looked up from the tiled floor to see an old man. The game fell out of your hands, thankfully walking into the corner as your eyes widened in horror. Your soulmate was an old man. Desperately, you looked up at the numbers, praying it was some sort of accident, that they weren't all zero and that they weren't green. Zero years, zero months, zero weeks, one day, three hours, twenty minutes, seventeen seconds. Your head webbed up several times, looking for the numbers, or looking for the numbers to the grinning man in front of you. Let me guess, your timer was almost zero, and it's back up, the man asked. You nodded slowly, wondering how he knew. Ah, uh, it happened to me a few times too. He told you, your eyes widened as he thought it might happen to you again. Seeing his mistake, the cashier rushed to fix it. But it's different for everyone. I'm sure you'll find your soulmate soon. You pushed your game over to him, waiting for him to scan it so you could pay it and go back home. What? Why did it ha happen? You asked, thinking he seemed to know a lot about the subject. Well, you know, when they say your timer reaches zero, you'll be next to your soulmate. He began. You nodded at his rhetorical question. Well, it's not entirely true. The media tries to glam it up to make it seem perfect. He paused as he thought of the next words carefully. 
our lives are like rivers. We make one decision and we go one way. We make another decision and we go the other. However, in the end, we'll all be in the same place. The sea, or in our case, our soulmates. So you're saying that in a few minutes ago, my life was at a fork in the road and I took the route without my soulmate, like an alternate universe. I would have met my soulmate just then, you asked, making sure you got it. You're, the man nodded enthusiastically and you pursed your lips. If you hadn't panicked and paused, you would have met your soulmate. We would be chatting with them right now. Sensing your sour mood, the old man tried to cheer you up. This happened to me six times before I found him. Hopefully you'll meet yours tomorrow. He nodded on the numbers on your wrist. How about I give you a free One Piece poster? You, after making your purchase, you walked out of the store into the midday sun. Sighing once more, you looked at your phone to see no one had texted you. Not surprising, seeing as how barely anyone had your phone number. You could even count the amount of friends you believed you had with your hands and not even using all your fingers. You made it hard to make friends as you preferred playing games and watching anime. They were better, they were better company, but you never had to worry about being socially awkward since you hadn't actually offended them. The walk home was uneventful. You listened to your music at the loudest volume, wanting it to drown out everyone else, and glaring at all the loving couples, hating them even though they hadn't done anything to you. Finally opening up your home door, you slammed it shut, trying to lessen the anger flowing through you, and you ripped out your earbuds. Stomping up the stairs, you dropped onto your bed, face into the pillows, and exhaled. Tears built up in your eyes, but you refused to let them fall. Sometimes life wasn't fair. You just wanted to be like the rest of your friend group with your other half. As negative thoughts circled your mind, you fell asleep. You woke up at, later at night. For a second, you were dazed, wondering why you weren't in your PJs. Yesterday came to you, and you groaned in your pillow again. Your cat hopped up onto your bed and scooped, and you scooped. No, your cat hopped up into your bed and you scooped him up, burying your face into his messy black fur. After you had calmed down, you went downstairs to make a snack, seeing as if you sing as you didn't have tea. Once the snack was finished, you brought it upstairs, wanting to eat it in your bedroom, not even caring about the crumbs at this point. Not the first time you wished you had a close friend or even an older sibling to talk to but they would have just given some advice on what to do or maybe they could have given some advice on what to do even though you had less than 24 hours to meet your soulmate again you were worried you would mess up and not meet them or maybe they would mess up to distract you from your constant worrying you ate a snack pushed it down your throat in an attempt to stop the sad panicky thoughts groaning at the time half past midnight you changed into your pjs and got ready for bed five minutes later you slept under the covers and closed your eyes Waiting for sleep to weep you away for the next sweep you away for the next few hours. Instead, you had spent twenty minutes tossing and turning, huffing as you flung the duvet off, annoyed at the long nap you had earlier, making it almost impossible for you to fall asleep. You decided to play a game that you had bought earlier, not wanting to spend time tossing around chasing after sleep. You slotted the disc into your game console and picked up your favorite colored controller. Three hours had passed in a blur. And soon you were nearing the end. Just as you were about to beat the last second to last boss, your game suddenly went black and went back to the start screen. Panicked, you looked through the safe levels, seeing to see all your work was deleted. Screaming in frustration, you had to create a new game and begin all over again, making sure to save twice as often. You came up to the same fight scene you had gone to previously before going back to the start screen quicker as you already knew where to go. Bringing your controller closer to you, you glared at the screen, keeping a close eye on the game. Just like last time, as you were about to beat her, the game restarted, losing all of your work. You howled in rage, turning to your PC to search if there was a bug in the game. Searching provided you with more confusion. Some people played the game without a glitch, whilst others lost all of your save work at the same point you did. Turning off your game, you made up your mind that you would that you had a faulty game and had to resolve to taking it back. You rolled into your bed and fell asleep just as the world began to wake up. Zero months or zero years. Zero months. Zero weeks. Zero days. 
12 hours, 37 or 12 hours, 53 minutes, 41 seconds, 40 seconds, 39 seconds. You'd woke up groggy and pushed back your black cat away from you, stifling a yawn. You showered and dressed. The countdown on your forearm flashed, and you looked at it. Zero years, zero months, zero weeks, zero days, four hours, fifteen minutes, and nine seconds. You hummed at the numbers, not as excited about you were yesterday. For all you knew, you may never meet your soulmate. You had read about other people like that once or twice. Died, people who died alone, people without finding their soulmate. You shuddered and hoped that you wouldn't end up like that. You took the disc out of your console and put it back into its case and made your way downstairs for breakfast. You lazed around, wasting several hours, looking for looking at videos on the internet. When you had noticed the time, you jumped up and grabbed your faulty game and raced to the shop, wanting to be there before it got closed. You had made it over you had made it just with over five minutes to spare. Too busy getting refunds for the part of the shop, you didn't see your timer. Zero years, zero months, zero weeks, zero days, zero hours, zero minutes, 23 seconds. Luckily, there wasn't a queue, so you went straight to the counter, busy pulling the game out of your bag, eyes not exactly where you were going, not eyes not exactly looking where you were going and where you were, and where you were, or that, uh, what? Eyes not exactly looking where you were going or to the black and blonde boy in front of you. Black and haired, black and blonde haired boy who looked at you with such surprise and wonder. Pulling the game out of your bag, you swung your torso back to face the helper. Hi, I was wondering if you dimly felt your wrist vibrate as the clock reached zero. A quiet beeping coming out. You looked at the boy in front of you, mirroring his facial expression. Hi, you must be my soulmate, he said, amazement sparking in your voice. You would admit it, but you had a really cute soulmate. You smiled timidly and you blushed, averting your eyes to the counter. Thankfully, I got a soulmate he likes to play games. I was scared you were going to hate them. He murmured quietly, a blush spreading to his ears. You, you blushed as well. How could I hate games? They were amazing. Your eyes lit up as you spoke about the thing you loved most. Kenma thought it was cute, which made him blush even more. His cat eyes flicked to the game you had placed on the counter in front of him. Did you get a faulty one? Yeah, I lost all my work just before I killed the boss on the second to last level. The boy in front of you let out a small ouch, sympathizing with you. I played it twice to make sure I hadn't accidentally pressed something to make it restart. Realizing you hadn't introduced yourself, you added, I'm way in, by the way. You would be surprised how many people came back claiming their game glitched when they actually couldn't play it correctly. You laughed at this, and the boy smiled, blushing again. My name's Kenma. He smiled bashfully at him while he went on about the transaction. The shop was beginning to close, and Kenma watched as his colleagues left. If you want, we can go get ice cream at the parlor once my shift is over, Kenma suggested, his eyes locked on the till. He smiled and nodded, agreeing to the idea. A few minutes later, you walked out of the game shop, your soulmate walking right next to you. Oh my god, that was so cute. Oh my god, I love Kenma so much. He is so... Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh my god, I was scared it was going to be the old man. I'm like, huh? I clicked on a Kenma reader. Uh, what? What? He's talking about some... Some fucking... You look up, it's an old man in front of you. Uh, I did not ask for that. Uh, um. Anyways... I hope you guys enjoyed that because I really liked it. I thought it was adorable. Also, sorry for the background noise. It's Thanksgiving today and my family is here and my dog. I swear, I, this ceiling must be like paper thin because if he walks, I can just hear his fucking nails clacking all over the floor. It's really annoying. But anyways, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed um, the video. If you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I said, oh yeah, I thought I miss said that. <laughs> um, make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you can get notified every single time I post a video. Um, I try to post daily, and if I don't, I am sorry, but I do try my best to post daily. And if I don't, I try to post an extra video to make up for it. And uh, yeah, also make sure you comment down below some other characters you want me to read because I will definitely do them for you guys. I really enjoy doing your guys' requests. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you're here by the end of the video, you are the real MVP. Thank you for sticking around with me. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.